what I got. Open up. I know what I got. Yeah, keep it in. I know what I got to do. I know what. Ah, I got it. I got it. I got it. We can do this. Yeah, we can do this, Bill. Yeah. What's happening, baby? Not too much, buddy. I love that opening. That was awesome. I, you know what it took me? I had to, I had to take all your videos that you sent me from last week. Find <laughs> you just walking and contemplating and kayaking and rowboating and and swimming. <laughs> and and uh, who's calling you? Who is that? I don't know. Is that the governor of Oklahoma looking to get a hold of you, my friend? Could be. What's happening, brother? He might have saw me walking around in the yard without a mask on. I don't know. So we already we, we had we had a, a, an overstocked show tonight. Okay, we had uh, Greg Finley from Blackjack, the Jackie Ryan story. Uh, Jackie Ryan, a good friend of ours. Greg Finley playing Blackjack in the movie. Um, we have uh, David Higgins, our boy David Higgins, already called them with a sound check. He's coming on around eight twenty. We have a beautiful young lady with a beautiful voice, uh, Madeline Paquette. Uh, she's going to be coming on around 7.50. But our first guest, Greg Finley, is having some login problems to the show, Phil. Uh oh <laughs> so Apparently, um, when, you send the, when you send the login, I mean, David didn't have any problem, but apparently there's something new now. When you send the login, it's not as, as quick and easy as it used to be. Um, so I know you, it, it asked you to, it used to be very simple. You just log in and you, boom, you're on the show, but now you have to log in with either Google or Facebook yeah. or YouTube or something. And so I don't know what that's all of a sudden happening. And I'm, I'm very excited cause I got a, a new, a new webcam that came today. So you could see I'm even more handsome than I normally am unshaven. Uh, yeah. but the picture looks clear, right? I look like a nice, nice clean shot now. Well, I tell you what you can see the best is those Emmys just over your shoulder. That shoulder? Yeah. Can you see them? Do they come in clear? They, they're coming in very clear and shiny, <laughs> and they kind of have a little gleam to them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, you know, once in a while, I come down little little Windex, little Mr. Clean, shine them up. Uh, let's see. Who do we have here? Uh, Jen Stoddard, Diane Jones, Judy Blevins, Brenda Lee Baker Ogden, Rory Wright. Everybody's checking in from around the world. Um, so it's Thursday, baby. This is the end of our week. Yeah. Uh, and I got to tell you, Phil, yesterday I was telling you about things that we're cooking. Today, even more things cooking with the Suki and Scott show. Um, you know, hopefully in my mouth to God's ears, uh, something will happen. And uh, we got a, got, a, got a lot of stuff happening. But uh well it's going to happen. Good, you know, I've been telling you, I've been telling you that uh, the Suki and Scott show is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The audience is worldwide. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many shows can say that they have a worldwide audience? I don't know. I mean, I mean, where are people checking in from so far today? Um, uh, let's see. Let's check the map. Let's check the map, Phil. We have uh, Ontario, Canada. We have uh, Iowa, um, Alabama. We, uh, we usually have one or two people from Australia who watch. We've got a little Myrtle mm -hmm. Beach right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Atlanta, Georgia's in the house. Um, so, you know, east to west and everything in between. Here's Ontario, Canada, um, New Jersey. So it's really all over the place. So let's say that, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, when a celebrity or their agent, they're looking around for some way to promote themselves or, or looking for a show to be on. I mean, what shows are going, going to attract them? The ones that have a worldwide audience? Yeah, of course. And, uh, and and plus, not to mention some hosts that have, uh, you know, personalities to die for. So, yeah, man. We have we have Regina Canada in the house. I always love Regina Canada. You know, it's funny every time because uh, uh, I'm like I'm a two year old. So I used to do these commercials. I still do commercials from Monday Night Raw that air in Canada. Right. So when Monday Night Raw airs and Friday Night Smackdown. I come on a hundred times in Canada to tell you what's coming up in Canada. And we used to do them city by city to to uh, you know make it like it's personalized for each city. And one of them was Regina. And of course, me being the two-year-old, first I thought it was Regina. Then they told me it was Regina. And I laughed for about 20 minutes. And every time I said, coming to Regina, 
I, I just started laughing because it, you know, it, it rhymes with uh, your favorite body part, and I just couldn't help but laugh. Yeah, we well, you know I, I I can understand that because we are red blooded American fellas, and uh, you know, here in Oklahoma, we have a county called Beaver County. Beaver and, County, uh, I love it. Yeah. And uh, it's like we, that's like it. I could never go to Intercourse, Pennsylvania, Phil, because I would just laugh when, as soon as I got there. Right. And one of my buddies who was a, a state trooper, uh, he was also in the Air Force with me. And I, I met up with him one day and, and uh, he said he was a trooper. And I said, where are you stationed at? He said, well, they put me out of Beaver, Oklahoma. So <laughs> needless to say, there were a lot of uh, jokes there. And uh, I, I would always tease him mercifully. Uh, mercifully. Yeah, love be, and, yeah. and, and also Pennsylvania, I think home of uh, Blue Balls, Pennsylvania. There's a uh, town called Blue Balls, PA. And that's just that's that's unbelievable to me, Phil. Wow, it's yeah. Wild. And everybody's checking in now. We're uh, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Canada. Debbie Gola, wow, from Saskatchewan, Canada, Louis Louisiana. We got <laughs> everybody checking in, and we had listen. We got double shot of singing tonight. Not even including you, Phil. Uh, two amazing singers. I don't. I I think uh, Greg Finley. I I don't think we're getting it on. But what I'm going to do anyway is because Black Jack is a uh, 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 Jack Ryan's a friend of ours. He's been on the show. I, I know him forever. He's the guy who does all the tricks with the basketballs. Got an amazing story. I'm going to play you the trailer from the uh, the movie. But um, Phil, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. Have you, have you ever you have a, a a leaf blower at your house? Yeah, I was just using it today. As a matter of fact. I have a leaf blower here too. And um, did you ever use the leaf blower around your um, fire pit that's got ashes in it? You ever, ever, you ever do that? I have not. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, that's 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 landscaping design rule number two twenty two. Don't ever use your leaf blower around your fire pit that's got that's got ashes in it. it doesn't work out, Phil. Nothing works out. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to write that down uh, and keep that in mind. That's uh, <laughs> make sure, listen. That's my tip to you, my friend. Just make sure you never use that leaf blower <laughs> around the fire pit. Um, and and it's just you know so much going on in the news. I didn't. I didn't watch anything today. I didn't either. I, I don't know what's going on. I took a day off from news watching. I usually read everything, um, but I did find something funny. You know, I love I love what when not the political part, but I love when people goof on the whole Biden Trump election situation. Right. So here's a guy I found uh, as on on TikTok, but it went viral. Um, if if Donald Trump and Joe Biden were playing tic tac toe together against each other, here you go. Watch this. Thank you, X. You know, you look at that X, some people say that's a tremendous victory. And I think we're looking at that strongly. It's a big win. It's a tremendous win. So thank you. I'd like to thank myself. Look, fact of the matter is I won. It wasn't even close. You spewing malarkey. Excuse me. When you see the tremendous shape fraud, this great fraud in the oolongs, you look at the long ooze, and you see the shape, the squares. People are looking at the squares. But we've got tremendous litigation and documents, great documents. You look at these. <laughs> He's pretty good, that guy, right? Yeah, that was awesome. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Trump impersonators, but uh, he was okay. He wasn't yeah, bad. He wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I have not. We didn't turn on the TV. Uh, you know, during vacation, we did vacation stuff, and we didn't watch TV. We just did. You know, we had fun. And then when I got home. I maintain that. I, I said, we're not watching the news because it's just, it makes me feel horrible. So I don't watch it anymore. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, why don't we do this? Because uh, it's it's 744 and I got to assume uh, Greg Finley's not coming on. Um, he's uh, he, They're texting me. I guess they're having um, problems. Yeah, he's, 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 <laughs> we usually, everybody usually gets on the show at one point or another, but he's, have, he's texting me some serious screenshots right there. And it's just not working out for him. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do this because Madeline's coming up at 750. Um, and what I'm going to do is I just want to play you the trailer from Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story. Here you go. Yeah. Take a look. Hey, my Jack, I got money on this game. White, Michael Jordan. 
Jackie Ryan is one of the biggest wastes of talent in the history of basketball. Hey, Jackie, what are you doing still hanging out with this jerk off? He's going to get you hurt. Jenny Burke, the only person in high school with average more points than me. Don't make a man out of yourself. You know, it is by far the cheapest date that I've ever been on. What if I told you that I could get you tried with the New Jersey Nets? Yo! Next round's on me and go to the f***ing NBA, baby! Yeah! Come on, Jackie! You need to get it under a six-minute mile. You know I do a lot better when there's, you know, people watching. Mm -hmm. lucky you got a chance to fix a lot of wrongs it's something most people from our neighborhood never get to do if i see pass the ball in the post pass the ball in the post jack ryan you want to play point guard in the nba Yes. I'll tell you, Phil, it's, a, it's an amazing story. Jack Ryan, he's been on our show so many times doing the morning shows. Always we had him on this show during the pandemic. He was doing uh, you know, he was doing shows for kids with the with the basketballs. He does halftime shows at NBA games, but you know, he he was literally one of the best street basketball players in New York City. And the guy, it's, it's, things got screwed up, and he had a shot at the pros, and then you know things went awry. Uh, and it's an amazing story, and he's just he's such a <clears throat> such a good guy. Gives, 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 gives. It's all about the kids. And um, so, so Greg w was going to come on. He got the part to play Jack. Yeah. Um, and I'll show you. He this was this is uh, so this is the real Jack Ryan, right? That's our that's our buddy Jack. Right. This is Greg who was playing Jack. And this was the this is the poster for them. You got David Arquette, Ashley Green, Robert Davies in the movie. And it's uh, it's supposed to be fantastic uh, story of his life. And he always he told me years ago they were they were making a story about <clears throat> it. And uh, finally, they did it. And it's out. I think um I'm not really sure if you Google it, you could see if it's uh, if it's I if it's Amazon or Hulu or one of those. But it's uh, it's great and it's out. We'll get Greg back on there. You know, they're emailing me now and it's, you know, they're very upset that he can't get on. I don't know why we've done one hundred and twelve shows. <laughs> we've managed to get everybody on. So <laughs> it's fine. Hopefully Madeline will log in soon. <laughs> Hopefully she'll get on. <laughs> I do know. I do know David Higgins will get on because he was already on. Do Phil, he's got a he's got him and two band members tonight. Wow, David. Dude, Higgins, so. Yeah, yeah, that dude, that dude's, Yeah, he's dedicated, man. He's a he's a tech guru. Or oh, or, he's phenomenal. And listen, yeah. if if Madeline can't log in, I'll just I'll text Dave. We'll get him on early, and we'll let him put on a he can put on a concert for us. Yeah, shoot, yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, unbelievable. So yeah, listen, yeah. I, Here's the thing, Phil. I have a new camera. How do I look? Do I look good? Because that's all I care about right now. Is my yes. shot clean? Is it clear? You hear me good? It's not fuzzy. Everything's good. No, it looks good. It looks awesome. That's all. I could just sit here then like this. Doesn't matter. I'm fine. Yeah. Shoot you, man. <laughs> as long as you look good, that, you mean, that's that's 99% of the it equation. It doesn't matter how you feel. It's how you look, right? Yeah. Look, while we're waiting for uh, Madeline to join us. Would you, my friend, like to uh, sing a little tunage? Yeah, I can do that. You know, today when I was listening to uh, Madeline music, and uh, she, she's awesome. But uh, right. so listen to her throughout the day. But I also I clicked on a couple of Stevie Wonder tunes, and man, I got I listened to that for about an hour. So tonight's <laughs> going to be, and my part is going to be Stevie Wonder night. Oh, okay, good, good, good. And you know what? The good news is Madeline's in the green room. 
She signed in a, a couple seconds ago, so we're we're, we're good with Madeline. We've already <laughs> see Madeline's able to sign in. Our first guest, who was our main guest tonight, he he was the first guy in 110 shows, Phil, who couldn't he couldn't log in. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, listen. So before Matt, we bring Madeline on. Give, give give everybody what they want, Phil. Give our, our fans what they need. They need to hear you in these times of trouble, my friend. Okay, here we go, a little Stevie Wonder. <clears throat> Lately, I have had the strangest feeling With no vivid reason here to find My favorite song, keep going. Yet the thought of losing you's been hanging round my mind. And far more frequently you're wearing perfume. With you say, no special place to go. But when I ask you, will you be coming back soon? You don't know, never know. Well, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. But what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide. Cause they always start to cry. Cause this time could mean goodbye, baby. Oh, man. What's the way? What's the next verse? Give me the next verse. Give me the next line. Oh, so goodbye. I'll give Lately, it to you. I've been staring in the, in the mirror. mirror. Go. Very slowly ripping me apart. Mm -hmm. What's the next line? I forgot. Trying to, Trying to tell, tell myself I have no reason with your heart. Next line. Line. Just the other night. Just the other night while you were sleeping. I vaguely heard. I vaguely heard you whisper someone's name. But when I ask. But when I ask you of the thoughts you're keeping. You, you just, just say. say. Nothing's changed. Finish it, Philly. Well, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. But what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide. Cause they always start to cry. Uh, I love that song. It's all so do I, man. I used oh. to Phil when when Suki and I would be in the in the in the uh the makeup room in the morning at 3 30 in the morning on the morning show. She would be getting her makeup on. It, they took two minutes to do me, and we would play that, <laughs> and I would just sing to her and the makeup ladies in the in the room. It was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I love I love everything Stevie Wonder has ever done. Yeah, no, he is. Love he Stevie is. Wonder. Uh, here's the good news, Phil. Uh, Madeline Paquette is in the building. Uh, we're gonna bring her in in a second, but let me just introduce you to her uh, real quick. Sometimes you gotta learn the heart.
Ah, there she is, ladies and gentlemen, Madeline Paquette. Hi, Hello. Madeline. Thank you guys for having me. This is so much fun. How are you? Oh, man. Where, 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 are, where are you calling in from, Madeline? All right. So right now I'm in Boston, uh, outside of Boston, my home in, in Sudbury, Mass. Nice. Yeah. And, and that's where, so you grew up in Boston? I did, yes. The suburbs. Beautiful. That's great. And Phil grew up uh, very far from Boston and uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> and I'm in the, I've visited Boston many times. It's cool uh, place. Quincy Market and all those places. Yeah, all that food. It's really, really fun. Yeah, totally. Uh, uh, so listen, it, it's great. Now it's it's Paquette, right? Yeah, yeah. I said right. that right? Because I, I have another friend of mine, Renee Paquette, who's a broadcaster. So I, I figured that's how you pronounce the name. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Paquette is like the Smith of like French last. Oh, Smith of French, <laughs> French Canadian, right? Yeah, That's totally. Funny. And listen, uh, Phil's but he's been raving about your music all day. He keeps texting me how great you guys been watching you all day long. Dude, I yeah. appreciate that so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been checking out uh, Madeline Paquette music. Oh my gosh, I mean, uh, some let's see, broke like me. Uh, that one uh, that we just played. I mean. Could it be my life story, bro? You know, pretty <laughs> yeah. much all the time. But uh, I was listening to your songs, Evergreen, Better Weather. And I got to tell you, uh, and I know we want to talk about your new song coming up, Move In. It's coming out in December, right? Yep. Uh, but I was listening to your music, and uh, it, it's all fantastic. But uh, Better Weather gave me chills. It, you know, just thinking about it, it's awesome, awesome. Phil, get, he gets chills very easily, though. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't let him know. That's not true. That's for you. <laughs> uh, so listen, so you you are, let me guess, you're around 23. 20, close. 20, oh, my God, 20 yeah. years old. Goodness <laughs> yep. gracious, that's unbelievable. Um, well, listen, you know, you, you're off to a great start. When did you actually, when did you start singing and playing instruments? When did that kick in? Oh gosh. According to my mom, I could sing before I could speak. I don't know how actually true that is, but I'll take her word for it. I've always loved to sing. Um, and I think when I discovered that someone could write songs and that I could write songs in like fifth grade, that was like when it all started for me. That's so fun. And I know Phil and I, you know, we're a little bit older, not much, just a little, <laughs> a little bit, uh, just a little <laughs> bit older. So our, our musical heroes are, are a lot different than yours. So when, when you grow up, <laughs> Who were like the guys you and girls you used to sing along to on the radio all the time? Who were who were your inspirations? That's a great question. I also hate it because there are just so many that I could live. <laughs> but um, actually, I think that I get my like country folk roots from James Taylor. Nice. So um, he's a classic. Um, I grew up loving him. Um, and also Nora Jones. And then as I started to get into songwriting, I discovered Taylor Swift and Rascal Flatts. And this, I was introduced to that country sound that I fell in love with and here I am. <laughs> That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. So like, like the rest of us, you, uh, you know, being affected by the pandemic. And uh, so, so what have you been doing during the pandemic? Uh, you know, have you been songwriting? You've been collaborating with people? What's, what's going on? Yeah. I mean, I, I, so I go to school in New York city. I'm a student at NYU studying music and right when the pandemic yeah. hit, I came right back here. So I've been home in my in this bedroom <laughs> pretty much since March. Um, yeah, it's it started off kind of rough. Um, obviously it's still happening, which is insane. But I'm um, getting worse. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. But um, you know, I've just been trying to write as much as possible, you know, work on production and collaborating and, and writing with other people. And I'm still in school. <laughs> so gotta, you know, I've been taking those classes and just trying to keep up with everything. I yeah, love what, busy. What's your favorite James Taylor song? Ooh, that's hard. I would say. <clears throat> You've got a friend? Mm, Carolina in my mind. I oh, think. I love that. <laughs> Carolina in my ass. I'm going to Carolina. You sing it a little. Give me a little. Oh, my God. I'm going to Carolina in my mind. Oh, so that's good. great. What a <laughs> You want to want to sing a little bit and then we'll talk some more? Um, sure. Okay. What song are you going to do? Well, I, I think I'm going to do, uh, my song that's coming out in December. Wow. What's it, what's it called? So it's called move in and I wrote it in New York city in February. So right before everything happened, this was like 
the most special song uh, that came out of, I think my first semester of college. But um, it's just kind of about, not that I'm like qualified to know anything about like anything cause I'm 20, but <laughs> uh, it's just kind of about like the limbo between you've been like dating someone for a while and obviously like you don't know what the future holds, but why don't I just move in? It's going great. Um, it's like a big step, but obviously like in the song, it's assumed that everyone's comfortable with this decision. Ah. <laughs> but it's just kind of, a, there's a little play on words in there. Um, right. And I think there was a group, Phil, when we were younger, who sat, was like the opposite of that. Was it like Seals and Crow? I'm not talking about moving yeah. in. And I don't I want to change, change your life. Your life. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, madam. Let it, let it ride, my friend. You're on. All righty. Thank you guys so much. Um, this is Move In. It comes out December 4th. Um, I guess check out my website and my socials for um, stuff about when it comes out. MadelinePaquetteMusic.com is my website. And here we go. I'm at your place. Nights and most days I hurry home to pick up some clean clothes Then I'm on my way Back to endless mornings Back to whispered nights You fall asleep holding me The world is bright When I'm with you time goes fast But also stays right where it's at Every time I'm walking out your door, you wonder what I'm leaving for. You know I'm gonna come right back. We always make excuses for why we shouldn't do this. But baby, there's no reason to be scared of what's been proven. I like how things are moving. So why don't I just move in? You've had my heart quite some time now We both know that nothing could come close To the love that we found Life don't hold back We've seen it do its thing And I want to wake up next to you Nothing's guaranteed When I'm with you time goes fast but also stays right where it's at Every time I'm walking out your door You wonder what I'm leaving for You know I'm gonna come right back We always make excuses For why we shouldn't do this But baby, there's no reason to be scared Of what's been proven I like how things are moving so why don't I just move in? Why don't I just move in? I want to be with you, I don't want to miss you Lord, I hate saying goodbye So baby, let's do it We'll only be losing a little bit of sleep every night When I'm with you, time goes fast but also stays right where it's at Every time I'm walking out your door You wonder what I'm leaving for You know I'm gonna come right back We always make excuses For why we shouldn't do this But baby, there's no reason to be scared Of what's been proven I like how things are moving so why don't I just move in? Why don't I just move in? I'm at your place, nights and most days. I hurry home to pick up some clean clothes, then I'm on my way. The end. <laughs>
Wow and wow. Thank you. you nice. Now you wrote that yourself? Well, actually, funny story. I wrote it with my boyfriend, Michael Mironides, who's also a singer, songwriter, uh, musician nice. uh, from New Jersey. So, yeah. Oh, he's, a Jer- he's a Jersey guy? He's a Jersey guy. How is he? Is he a good singer? Because if he's good enough, we can have him on too. <laughs> he he can sing. He's more of a writer. He right. does like a lot of a lot of different things. But yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Listen, everybody's uh everybody's writing in. Beautiful voice, Thank beautiful you. girl. She's gonna be a star. <laughs> yep. Uh here, look, I don't lie. Look, there you go. She's gonna be a star. Oh my gosh, voice. thank you. Beautiful I'm seeing voice. all these comments. Sweet voice. You're getting some hearts here. Okay. Uh, awesome voice. Madeline's very pretty. <laughs> Beautiful. So you guys, uh, you guys are still dating now, I assume. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and you haven't moved in together yet. Nope. Mm, so, nope. Phil, uh, <laughs> if she was your daughter, would you recommend her moving in or, or waiting on that? No. No. <laughs> yeah. No. That's also that's the sense, uh, I mean, there's no plans for that now. But you know, when you write song, that's the thing, like songwriting it's not all people always are like are you serious sometimes and it's like dude i'm a storyteller it's it's a story but you know but yeah everybody's right i mean you know you're you're you have a beautiful voice you're very talented uh you're a beautiful young lady and to me you know i was i was uh looking at some videos um and i i know that you also have a very very big heart because I guess a few years back, you were a spokesperson for the uh, Safe Baby Haven Law. That's right. In, in right. Massachusetts. And, you know, in Oklahoma, we have that same law. And, um, you know, you do have parents who are shouldn't be parents. Uh, that's the nicest thing I could say about people who want to give up their babies. But I, I think uh, you were a spokesperson for them. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, you were responsible for saving the lives of a lot of babies. And, and I want to thank you for that. That that just goes to show what a, a big heart you have. And I think, you know, just you're going to be, you're going to go far with, with everything that you have. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I mean, oops, I'm getting some feedback. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Um, throughout high school, I was involved with Baby Safe Haven and the um, regional director of like the Massachusetts uh, organization for that. Um, yeah. I, I just learned a lot about like I, I'm very fortunate. I have a really great family system and, and people that I can count on um, as a young woman if I were to ever find myself in, in a situation like that. And there are so many young women who don't. And it's so mm-hmm. important, um, you know, to let them know that that people are in their corner um, if they need if they need help. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a great experience. Good for you. Good for you. How long does it what's like the quickest you've taken? It's taken you to write a song put it to music and boom, it's finished. How long? What's okay. the Okay. So um, there's a song on my Spotify right now called Ready or Not. And I wrote that in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it in 15 minutes uh, sitting in wow. my on my couch uh, my freshman year of college um, really fast. It took a longer time to put together in terms of like I had to go to the studio and that didn't happen right away. Yeah. But I guess the close second would be Better Weather because I wrote that you know, I pulled away from my dorm in the pouring rain on March 13th. And I was just like, when am I going to be coming back here? It was just so uncertain. And I, I went home and I just like wrote, I just like vomited this song that I was feeling <laughs> just, you know, better weather, hopefully will be coming um, to have to like be hopeful. So I wrote that in like a day and I, rec- I recorded it, produced it, did everything within a month and it was released a month later. So that was probably the quick wow. process. Um, well, had a lot of really? downtime, so <laughs> yeah. A lot yeah. of people wish they could vomit songs like that. Yeah, I want to vomit a few times. <laughs> you know, every time, like if I lay down or I'm about to go to sleep, I try to come up with like a just even words to a song. The problem is, then I'll I'll start getting words from mm-hmm. another song that's already out in my head. You know what I mean? Like I can come up yes. with the first line of something, but then I start going back. <laughs> just oh yeah, ten thousand songs I know. The worst <laughs> thing is like. You, you think that you're just like a brilliant songwriter and you've come up with this massive like billboard number one hit. And then your mom is like, dude, like I've heard that on the radio. And you're like, it's been done. It's been done. Now, listen, you, you know, you said you, you were, you were a fan of James Taylor and guys like that growing up. Who do you like? That's, uh, that's big now. What are some of the artists that you like now? 
Okay. Um, I would say, so I'm very much like if, you know, you've heard my music on Spotify, I'm very into like the country pop sound. I yep. obviously I'm from Boston. I'm not from Nashville. So I grew up with a lot of pop influence, especially vocally. Um, but so I, I just really loved the combination of like the rootsy Nashville sound with my like pop influence. Um, so I'd say right now my favorites are Marin Morris, who just won vocalist of the year last night. At yes. the um, I love her. I also love Kelsey Ballerini. Um, I love Ben Rector, who's not country at all, but love Ben Rector. I know Ben Rector. Ben Rector is my idol. <laughs> I you, love you know what? It's funny because one one of my wife's favorite songs over the last year, uh, Ben Rector covered a Huey Lewis song. Of course. <laughs> do, you, do you believe in love? Yep. And it's you know Huey Lewis was it, do you believe? And he and Ben Rector slowed it down. Yeah. To like a slow set, you know, do you like really slow? And my wife absolutely she loves it. It's one of the songs she'll play all the time in the car. So I do know him. He's got a fantastic voice. He yeah. is he is my idol. He can just he's so versatile when it comes to writing and you know, as a musician and everything. I could gush about him for hours, so I'll I'll leave it there. But <laughs> hey, hey Madeline, I, I know you probably have your own set plan for tonight, but and it, if I'm putting you on the spot, just say no. But if could you do just a little bit of better weather at all? Sure. Okay. Like, um, how dare you, Phil? Of course you can. <laughs> Let's see. Let me uh find if it's in the right. And every time you say better weather, I think colder weather by Zach Brown, also <laughs> one of my favorites. Yes, good, good one. One of my favorites. Go ahead. Give me uh five seconds here to <laughs> see if I can do it. Um five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, let's see. Give her more time. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, oh my gosh, when you just look blank and forget the words to your own song. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Why am I doing this? Um, Madeline, if this was a game show, you know, you we would have thrown you out by now. I haven't played this song in so long. Wait, ready? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got it, we got it. See, if I was playing this live, I would just ask my audience and they'd be like, oh, I like know the words, here you go. <laughs> it's getting hard to stay away from um, Let's see, well, there's the, the really easy hook part. So go ahead, that's fine. There's the better weather. Sorry, I like need to be more on top of things. <laughs> no, 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 that's that's fine. That's fine. I, and I put you on the spot, but that was that was perfect. I got I got those chills again. <laughs> I did it like five keys too high too, so that was like great. But <laughs> Madeline, do do whatever whatever song it was you were gonna do next. Sure. Okay. Well, so I was uh, given the the uh, the cue to do a fun song, and I was like, well, okay, there's lots of those. Um, was, that, was that Jason who cued you on that It one? was Jason. My man. And I, and I trust his, I, yeah, he's got it. <laughs> um, so I just, I felt like I wanted to do something um, of a new artist that I found named Wynn Starks. Um, okay. He probably has like the craziest voice I've ever heard in my life. Um, he, this is this, this I'm going to sing it in the key that he sings it in. And like, it's so high and like even a struggle for me. Um, but this is such a fun song and it's like, gorgeous. Yeah. so hope you guys like it. Baby, I don't need much Cause when you're beside me I feel like I have enough When the world spins us around when the wind tries to move you, you know what we holding you down. Oh, time it keeps moving so fast. Wish 
you would slow But before it passes us by I thought you should know That it's you I wanted It was you all of this time And it's you that keeps running circles round my mind Motown uh, lady singers, baby, oh baby, that was yes, so. There's, there's some like shoe off background vocals that get me every time in this. <laughs> was that a um, was that about a a boy or a boyfriend or? Well, so this is uh, this was a cover. I should uh, sorry, that was a cover. Of, oh, that's um, right. That's I'm sorry. That was a cover. Yeah. Yep. You're right. You're right. I, I assume it was about like his wife or something. <laughs> Madeline, listen, can you believe you've been on with us for almost a half hour already? Yes. Time, time I, goes I, quick, I can't right? Believe it. <laughs> when you're having fun. I'm having um, so much fun. This is like one of the funnest streams I've done. So you guys are awesome. I love Oh, yeah. Listen, those other streams are, come on, they're boring. <laughs> it's all boring. This is the only good one out there. You can wear that. And you listen, your lucky Suki's not even here because then the, the energy goes goes up through the roof. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> um, then she'd be asking you all girly questions too. Tonight, you know, you get you get Next just time. <laughs> Next time. Uh, well, listen, you know, hopefully, you know, things work out for you as far as moving in with your boyfriend. Well, um, before that happens, I'm hoping just I got some plans to move back to New York uh, with some of my girlfriend roommates. So. Nice. Hopefully that'll happen. Hopefully things are safe. I'm just, I just miss the city so much. So I'm I do you ever, do you ever get to play in the city, like at bars or clubs or anything? Yes. So my first two years, I had such a fun time. I played at like pianos, which, which closed, I think indefinitely, which is so sad. Yeah. Pianos, the cutting room. Um, cutting room. I've been to, I've, I've hosted things at the cutting room. You hosted the cutting room? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So sick. yeah. Yeah. I love it. I hosted comedy shows at the cutting room. No way. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, it was funny. Good. It's a great place. Beautiful place. It's awesome. That was my um, favorite. Listen, Philly and I, we, you know, we we loved having you on and you you're amazing. You got a great future ahead. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's all you have to do. Thank you guys so much. This was such a blast. And everybody go to MadelinePaquetteMusic.com. and your yeah. your your new song comes out on when? December 4th. Move in. December 4th couple of weeks. Madeline, thank you so much. You'll come back. All right. And when you play in the city, when things get back to normal, we'll come see you. I can't wait. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. <laughs> see you later, Madeline. Bye, Take care, Madeline. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you, sweetie. Great, great voice, Phil. Great voice. Uh, oh, yeah. you know, pretty young lady. She has a huge, huge heart. She uh, She's going to go far in this business. 
But Phil, this show has almost like it's turned into, you know, when we don't have well-known celebrities on, it's it's like we've turned into Star Search almost. Yeah. All these people we're discovering. And you know who I take full responsibility for discovering on this show? Who's that? David Higgins. Yeah. You know, forget Jason, the guy who sent them to me. Jason you should. Cooler. David you should. Higgins, that's our guy. I mean, he's he's world renowned. We're gonna bring him on in a second. The women love him. They everybody's been asking when you're getting David Higgins back. Tonight he's got a band with him. They sound phenomenal. Uh, and let me just give you a little uh quick little taste of uh DH. How good is that guy? How good awesome. Is Phil, awesome. I just realized what was wrong before we get to Dave. I had a box because I emailed the folks at our streaming service and I said, hey, how come people are? Ha I had a box checked, which I didn't even know. It said that our guests have to authenticate who they are before they come on. <laughs> I had the box checked. I went into settings. So apparently that's uh, my fault again. <laughs> so <laughs> let me get this straight. So... I, after all this time, yeah. I finally had to, uh, you know, send in my ID and click on YouTube and yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got just that to, too, right? Just to check in, yeah. Wow. But hey, you know, I guess that keeps the Russian hackers off the show. Wait, hold on. So get, let me just get on now. Listen, all right, listen, we don't have a time limit. Let's bring our boy in here for a second. There he is. There's our guy. Hey. What's up, Davey Higgins? How you doing, David? My goodness, we used to be so young. That video is like uh, <laughs> four or five years old, and we were just laughing. Yeah. I had long hair. Harp had long hair. Craig was a different person. <laughs> and, and you know what, Dave? Listen, for a guy of your stature and your energy uh, and your gravitas, that, that organ looked a little kind of, you know, like uh, my daughter was playing that in the basement, that organ. I love organ, man. <laughs> I know what's old. Power. The I like piano, but there's, uh, there's just raw power you get from an organ, man. Yeah, yeah. man. How you Plug doing, buddy? In. Phil, Doing this guy, this guy, every time I said, Dave, you want to come back? Uh, he's touring. He's in, in New York. He's in Boston. He's in uh, Las Vegas. This guy's all over the place. Hey, I'm glad somebody's tour. working in this pandemic. What's that? I said, I'm glad somebody's working in all this. You know, I thought maybe I'd take a little bit of flack for getting on the road for um, a week. And uh, I don't care. We had so much fun. And yeah. uh, the people who wanted to come out could come out. And those who wanted to stay at home... Uh, could stay at home and man, I, I was like buzzing happy the week prior, the week of, the week after. We were just yeah. Hey, I don't begrudge anybody who does whatever they they can do. I mean, it's yeah. it's been a long time. It's been a long time. People are wanting to get back, you know, into the swing of things. And if you, if you can do it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dave, how did you how how did it go in New York? I know you played at a couple of places down in the village. I, I would I wanted to come see you, but a it was pouring one night. 
and B, there's a pandemic going on. I didn't want to be crowd, crowded in with those people. <laughs> you know, it was a blast. I was, uh, you know, we, we hadn't been up into the city since March. And from everything I was hearing about the city's dead and, you know, the whole, you know, the oh, felt and all that, dead. it was, yeah, it was yeah. alive and well. And then maybe we weren't out too much after dark, but all day people in, in a good way, people were wearing masks and everything, but they, people were everywhere. Outdoor dining was like on every sidewalk. It was awesome to see. The yeah, no, it's, it's great. You know, that, and that, that's a side that uh, the media will not cover because we just returned from about an eight day vacation, went to Florida and Tennessee and some and Georgia, some other states. And let me tell you, the highway traffic is unbelievable. Uh, you know, businesses are actually kind of booming and yeah, so there's a lot of people, you know, yeah. there, there, people are wearing their mask, which, you know, that's good. But, I mean, people don't want to make things happen, mm-hmm. you know? Exactly. So, yeah, it was good to see New York. Dave, how I great was the young lady we just had on singing? She was awesome. I'm so glad that she uh, was able to log in. She was killer. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's we, we've had some fantastic singers on over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and I still say, you know, I think our, our in our top three over, we probably had 100 in the last two, three months, four months, you, you still are one of our top three guys, if not the top guy, I got to tell you, bud. No, 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 nobody, nobody beats Phil. Well, well, that <laughs> Phil is, is forever numero uno. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, uh, Phil's like above everybody. I'm talking about the one, two, three are down here with us. Quit it. <laughs> no, she was incredible. I lo- her voice was so beautiful. Her writing was killer. Uh, Madeline, Madeline with a Y. Everybody, Madeline make Paquette. sure you follow her. She's she's so good. I can't believe talented and like super young too. Yeah, and we had it's another awesome young lady. We had another young lady on um, two nights ago. Twenty two years old from L.A. Uh, was also just phenomenal singing with the guitar. Really, just you just grilled. so much talent out there. It's amazing. Yeah, we we were actually loving y'all's banter too because we we're you mentioned Ben Rector and we're like, oh, could we do a Ben Rector tune tonight? Maybe. Yeah. Did, did you Huey hear Lewis him? And we we're like, maybe we should do. I don't know. We were trying to like play through a Huey Lewis tune real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so but good you're ideas. making me believe it's true. We'll see, are, let's see where the, the two, night goes. Maybe we'll have to try one. Who are the two fellas with you? I'll tell you. Right here, I'm looking at the camera opposite of where I would point. Behind me on the drums, this is my good friend Craig Meyer. Craig hey, Meyer. From New Jersey. And from New Jersey? stole him on down to Charleston. Wow, what back. part? What part of New Jersey? What part of New Jersey? Jersey City? Jersey City, JC. Jersey City, nice. And then over here, I don't know if this is left or right because the camera's all, <laughs> all backwards here, but this is Justin Harper on bass guitar. Nice. Born and raised in Charleston, South Carolina. Justin, Justin's like I got. Tw- I had twenty other things I could have been doing tonight. This is what you. This is what you got me doing tonight. <laughs> no, we're stoked to be here, man. Yeah, yeah no. It's, listen, Justin, don't worry, buddy. End of this show, you'll you'll have about thirty thousand, forty thousand people will be hearing you sing. So you're all good to go. <laughs> they don't. I'm the only one with ears on this one. Oh, they can't hear. Oh, okay. it's all right. I can relay the pertinent all right. details. Don't you worry. Go ahead, my friend. You light, light it up. Let's get that you, first one going. Can we do? Uh, can we do that one that I just released? Because Which Because I've done it solo. One, uh, the Kings and Queens. Oh, I, but I kind of want to play favorite. with the band. Yeah. Is that all right? Absolutely. Yes. We love that song. All right. Hey, thanks so much for having us back. We love really you. Good bud. to be with you guys. Okay. Thanks, yeah. and thanks everybody watching. Y'all are always, always really kind. All right, this is Kings and Queens. Come here, darling, help me out. Find this thing I've been dreaming about. Far through fire and I cut my brow. Find this thing I've been dreaming about. Take my eyes and Take my trust Cause when we die we're just ash and dust Take my body and I'll take yours And together we'll be Cause I've been driving all night long To find some place where I belong And I must die to lose myself If I don't find some place 
where I belong Cause we are kings and we are queens Together we'll rule over everything So let us dance, let us drink And let us live like kings and queens Come here, darling, let's run around Tell us this river's gone too far now So take my hand, we're climbing out Cause this river's gone too far now Cause I've been driving all night long To find some place where I belong yeah, I might start to lose myself If I don't find some place where I belong Cause we are kings, we are queens And together we'll rule over everything So let us dance, let us drink Yeah, let us live like kings and queens Dude, that they make is, a that, bit of difference, don't they? Oh my god! But you know what, man? That that is a total radio song. I could I could hear that on the radio. Thanks. Man. Yeah, I mean, you know, it brings to mind Manilo and you know just everybody. That's awesome. Yeah, That's really awesome. good, man. Really good. How has how's it selling? Is are you getting a lot of hits on that? Getting some streams. Yeah, nice. I mean, the the my favorite metric right now is Spotify, and uh, so Say It Out Loud did really well. Kings and Queens was released a little after, so we're trying to catch it up. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for anybody listening. Oh, I love it, man. All the, yeah. you, when you look back, you'll see our audience just, I mean, they love you guys. And they just, you oh, know, and not even, and it just sounds great too. You got your tech guy with you and it Kelly. just sounds terrific. Um, keep going, man. Let's get it. Let's right. get a little yeah, concert yeah. happening. Sorry, I was shouting. Kev, I was shouting you out. He, was, he said, <laughs> the tech guy's killing it. I said, Kev, the man that you can't see, but you can hear. So I'm going to release another single, which I'm really excited about. It's called nice. Morning Light, and uh, this one will come out December uh, 11th. Beautiful. 12, 11. That'll be a Friday at midnight. So I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll do like an Instagram, Facebook Live at midnight. We can all celebrate together if you want. Nice. It's a love song, so it's a little, a uh, little more chill. There's a thousand ways to make you change your mind There's a feeling you can leave this all behind There's a storm about to break There's a chance you did not take That writing on the wall Says you're bound to lose it all When you need me Late into the night 
when you need me to open up your eyes when you need me I am by your side the darkness overtakes you let me be your morning I'll be your morning light I'll be let me be your morning light There's a thousand things I know you want to say You already want to give yourself away There's a wave about to break I'm a hundred feet away And it's too soon to see the stage Cause I can't reach you from this place when you need me late into the night when you need me to open up your eyes when you need me I am by your side the darkness overtakes you let me be your morning I'll be your morning light I'll be let me be your morning light I'll be your morning light I'll be let me be your morning light The darkness overtakes you Let me be your morning I'll be your morning light I'll be Let me be your morning light I'll be your morning light I'll be let me be your morning light I'll be, yeah, your morning light I'll be, yeah, your morning light I'll be, yeah, your morning light Wow Good. Thanks, everybody. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. You, you wrote that one yourself? I wrote half of it. So that's with uh, actually Craig back here introduced me to a guy that he plays with as well, a uh, phenomenal singer-songwriter, Brendan James. And Brendan and I wrote uh, wrote that one together. That is unbelievable. Dude, that's a that's another hit right there. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, man. That I'm was a great you. collaboration. Yeah. Yes. I, know. I think we said this last time. A lot of times, when it, me personally, if I hear like new music, or you go to like a, a, a concert to hear a group that has 8,000 great songs and they start hitting you with the new stuff and you're like, oh, come on. And you just, you kind of bored with it because it's new. You never heard it before. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're tuned. To, like even with Kings and Queens, it was just like, it, it's almost like I've heard it 10 times before when you're singing it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank Good you. stuff, man. It must be the alcohol you're drinking, bro. That's got to be. <laughs> it doesn't hurt things. It's got to be the vodka tequila you drink. Every day. Oh, is it Are tequila? Yeah. Nice. Always tequila. You know me. No, I'm Actually, right there another, with you. See bud. if I can get it with the camera. There's right. another Justin. See if you can get. That's a full got a, bottle right there. We got a bottle up there. Yeah, we always do shots on the show. Nice. Usually when we do the live stream, just us. Wow, we're, what we're kind is that? Clowns. That's a Milagro, uh, Milagro Especial. Yes, nice. I I'm usually like Reposado. I'm a Reposado guy. Yeah, this is a Reposado. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, we we've done a lot of work with the uh, Milagro brand. They're they're Phil awesome. Phil, you know, Phil's a real man. He drinks straight whiskey. Tennessee of course, whiskey, of baby. Of course you do, Phil. Tennessee, Tennessee None whiskey. Of, <laughs> nothing less. <laughs> you know, he doesn't drink this uh, you know, drug cartel tequila stuff like we drink. <laughs> fair trade. It's all fair trade. <laughs> um, listen, man, you got I I know you got a hundred 
covers in there somewhere. Dude, 101. You did, you did Bridge Over Troubled Water was amazing last Ooh. time. People Thank still you. talk. They're still talking about you. Um, People are kind. What can we do, Mel? Let's get one more well, we in there. We were talking about we uh, ben, maybe we do a Ben Rector tune for Madeline um, because she seemed to really love Ben Rector, and I, I feel like I could maybe pull one off. Or we can were you talking do about the, the Huey Lewis or – Listen, uh, my my wife's favorite, one of her favorite song is Ben Rector's "Do You Believe in Love," the Huey Lewis. If you, you if you can pull that off, love. dude, you you'll uh, make me a hero tonight. All right, let's make it. <laughs> sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. So let's uh, go ahead. Can we try? Do you believe in love? All right, well, we'll give it a go. We're gonna try to make you the hero. All right, go ahead. Right. I know you won't let me down. I'll try not to. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Phil, we should, we got to start drinking, Phil. Yes. Phil, you're going to start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down a one-way street Just looking for someone to be one woman who is looking for a man? I'm hoping that the feeling is right. I'm wondering if you stay for the night. So I'm coming, I don't want to be lonely, baby. Please tell me, I want to love you all over. Do you believe it's true? Do you believe in love? Making me believe it too Now the feeling is beginning to grow And the meaning is something you And I'll take your heart Now I'm wondering Where the true love began Knowing under So letting you in My woman I don't want to be lonely Baby, please tell me I want to love you all over Uh, just pulled that one out, did you? All right, I have a confession. When you said it during um, Madeline's set, we were like, I wonder, if we could, I wonder if we could pull that off. So we played half of it uh, while we were waiting to come on. Hey, you just pulled that one out, did you? Actually, nice. Actually, this nice. Time, yes, that one's not a lie. All I know is when, when the show is over and it, I could replay it off the, off the stream, I'm going to bring that upstairs. And you know what? This could be a good Gary's night. Home? Could, be a good, your... could be a good night for me, my when friend. When you get up the stairs, what's your? Do you have a tagline? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> tell the people. Tell the people when you're announcing that you're here and you mean business. I go here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, actually. If you, <laughs> if you saw the shining, you know what I'm talking about. I usually have to break down the bathroom door with an axe. <laughs> with your wife. Thrill. 
Seems <laughs> to feel a little dangerous. Dude, you got you got one more in you before we go? Sure. Sure. What uh let's do maybe we'll do another cover if that's right. everybody was Yeah, so man, let's do one more. To... Oh, Justin has a uh, present. This guy, ah, these guys are gonna be drunk by the time we get off the air. I love it. Which one is that? What brand is that? The Milagro? Yeah, this is a Milagro Reposado. Hey, cheers nice. to everybody. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thanks for tuning in and watching us. We have so much fun, as you can tell, when we do this. So. Oh, you guys. Here's to y'all. Love it. So talented. I love it. I like water. Uh, yeah, let's do. Uh, Which one you got? We just did that Ben Rector, so maybe not another Ben Rector. Let's do. Uh, can we like sandwich two and a half songs together? Is that all right? I do. What if, what, when, you, do. when you I stop like playing, magic. that's when we'll finish. You're too kind. Let's do. Uh, even when we play live shows, we never have a set list, so we, we just always wing it. So I hope that's okay with everybody. <laughs> I love that. No complaints. No I'm sure complaints. The audience is doing a lot of singing when you guys are uh, playing up there. All right. I think I know where we're going. I feel it. Child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, you will get brighter. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, you will get brighter. Power of 
amazing that was amazing man awesome awesome i think hey, i think i think one night i'm just gonna turn this on leave you guys on and just do like an hour and i'm gonna go upstairs go I'll, listen, I'll watch it on my phone and then i'll come back down and we'll end it we'll start with do you believe in love here's johnny <laughs> then come back down <laughs> yeah well listen that'll only take me five minutes so that will that's not gonna kill too much time so you drink a little tequila first. Oh man, listen, you got you guys are great, man. When's the when's the new song coming out? December eleventh, midnight. December eleventh. December eleventh. We might yes. have to have you back again December tenth then. Would love to. Yeah. Oh, we might have to great. do that. Um and where can, <laughs> where can everybody find you? They can find us. My favorite is Instagram because I'm terrible on social media and I try to pick one to focus on. So Instagram, David Higgins Band, all one word. And now you get to meet the band, which is Love it. fortunate. Uh, you can do Facebook as well, David Higgins Music, or you could do davidhigginsmusic.com. Love it, bud. Dave, thank you, my friend. You awesome. guys really, you guys are fantastic. Thank you. Always good hanging out with you guys. Follow Madeline yeah. too. Everybody, please follow Madeline. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah. great. Great. All right, listen, December 10th, I'm putting you in. What day of the week Thank is that? Know. Hold on. That will be a Thursday night, Friday morning. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. You come on, we'll play a little, we'll plug the shit. Well, everybody, will, they'll all be ready for that song on the 11th. It's a love song 10th. for a change. On the 10th. Listen, man, stay safe. Likewise. Don't let your boys get too drunk tonight. And uh, we love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Good to see Thank you guys. You. Always good, good hanging you. out with you guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Dave. You're the best, buddy. Likewise. Felt, uh, man, could you imagine going going to a uh, a nightclub and listening to him play and just grabbing the wife and getting out there and just scooting around on the dance floor? I mean, that's uh, what I, just, I was imagining. I'd like to I'd like to play like him in a nightclub one time and just you know, man, the women love that stuff. They love oh my it. Gosh. You, you know that they love yes. it. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God! Do you uh, yeah. listen? You want to you want to finish us off with a little tunage? Yeah, well, like I said, it was uh, it's uh, Stevie Wonder night for me, so I'm going to do another one. Look at us going about an hour and a half tonight, and we lost the guest. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know. I, I'm I'm sorry that he couldn't make it, but we would have been here three hours. I uh, yeah, um, I, I think I think there was a thing on the stream that that was giving them that extra authentication. So I unchecked yeah. it. So I, and they wanted to come on. And I said, listen, I he's like the headliner. I want him to come on first talking about the movie. So we'll have him 
you know, a fresh night next week. So we'll, we'll, we'll re-get uh, uh, Greg in there, Greg Finley. Uh, but the movie is um, Black Jack, the Jack Ryan story. Go check it out. Um, yeah. Let me just pop it up there again. You guys will love it. That's It's our buddy Jack Ryan. Uh, here's the real Jack Ryan. He's our boy. Uh, good friend of ours. Good friend of the show. We know him for a long time. Watch and, the movie. Uh, Watch the movie. Go check yeah. out the movie Philly. Take us home. You want to do? You want to do a do a little duetage? You sing, and then I'll jump in later. Okay. <clears throat> you are the sunshine of my life. Yeah. That's why I'll always be around. You are the apple of my eye. Forever you'll stay in my heart. I feel like this is the beginning. Am I right? Yep. So I, before you came into my heart. Is that it? Though I've loved you for a million years. Go ahead. You take it. Go ahead. I feel like this is the beginning. Though I've loved you for a million years. And if I thought our love was ending, I'd find myself drowning in my own tears. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always stay around. You are the apple of my eye. Forever you'll stay in my heart. You must have known that I was lonely because you came to my rescue. And I know that this must be heaven. How could so much love be inside of you? Whoa. Oh, you are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not your birthday, is it, Phil? No, not no, so. We, had your, we yeah. had your birthday over the summer, right? Yeah, because yours is in August too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Somebody wrote happy bright, thought maybe it was your birthday. I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses, but what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide, cause they always start to cry. Cause this time could mean goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Well, it's time to go, Philly. Do, 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 do. Good, Good night, night, sweetheart. Well, well it's time to go. Do, 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 do. We hate to leave you, but we really must say, oh, good night, sweetheart. Good night.